working with creative mechanisms, you have everything from the CAD drawings, which they developed, uh, and you can go back and forth and tweak things uh, back and forth, and then they can show you different diagrams. That then moves to a 3D printing process, and now you're actually getting a model that you can hold in your hand. It may not be totally functional just because of the nature of the material that is in the 3D printer, but at least it gives you an idea and you can get a three-dimensional model of what now you had con conceptually in your mind, now in your hand. From that, uh, we can go, uh, Creative Mechanisms has the ability to go to a, a, a more robust model where they can carve that piece out of a solid piece of plastic uh, so that you can actually have a working model. And that's what this uh, particular piece is. This it was a mo working model that was actually carved out of a solid piece of plastic. And now we can test this, we can put this on the back of a trailer, we can pull this twice its length, and we know how now it's going to respond. Uh, so therefore we get an idea prior to going to full production, which, you know, uh, a uh, you know, four to eight cavity mold to, to make these is anywhere from perhaps thirty to fifty thousand dollars. And the last thing you want to do is expend those dollars if you don't know your product's going to work. So we have the ability to do that, or Creative Mechanisms has the ability to do it for designers uh, like myself that uh, want to be able to test something before we expend those dollars to go to full production. And it may end here. It may never get there because we say, well, you know, it wasn't th what I thought it was going to be, so I don't have to expend the forty or fifty thousand dollars in the making of a tool to find that out. And it's a very unique process where you can go from A to Z uh, with, the, with the creative mechanisms.